back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to create this giant round bathtub. For this you will need Discover University and a pack that has a bowl in it. This one is from Dream Home Decorator but you don't have to use the one from Dream Home Decorator but Discover University is a must because of the water we have to use. There isn't one in base game so please do not ask. I have looked everywhere to try and find something and I can't figure it out. So to do this you will need your cheats on so go ahead and press ctrl shift and see if you are on a pc and hold all four shoulder buttons if you are on a console go ahead and type pretty much all of the cheats in well not all of them the three so there's bb dot move objects on press enter bb dot show live edit objects press enter and bb dot show hidden objects and press enter again and then just do exactly the same thing once you've entered all these in press ctrl shift and c or your four back buttons this is going to allow you to be able to raise items up and the show hidden objects and show live edit objects is going to give you this water from discover university first thing we're going to need is a bath so i'm just going to grab any bath it really doesn't matter which one it is I'm just go ahead and use a base game one if you want and you can change the color of it later you want it to match the color of the bowl that you're going to use so i'm just going to leave mine white for now and see how it looks and you can see me changing it this will work best in the center of a room you will need a fairly large room this is a very bougie bath um, because of the size of the bowl because you've got to think it's going to go fully around this bath under this bath you want to create a basement so go ahead and go to the walls and empty room section there then go across to the fifth tool along which is the basement tool and i'm creating a one by two room under here now i'm using this bowl from dream home decorator called the forbidden cereal bowl but you can use whatever bowl you want there will be some in debug and sizing this will depend on the bowl you are using for this one i'm going to size it up five times you might have to size it up six if you don't have tool mod it's the only way for this to work i'm just going to do five for now because it is closer to the tool mod option i'm going to do soon so i'm going to go one two three four five I just don't like sizing it up to size six because it, it just makes it way too big. So I'm going to do five and change the tool mod later. So now I'm going to grab that bowl, go down into that basement. We're going to go ahead and raise this up until you can't see the walls. So like this, if you are sizing it up to this size, you might have to do it a little bit further down to around here. And that is there. And when we come up, this is what we see. Also going to place some lights in that basement. So I'm just using these subtle saucer lights and just placing two in here and it will light up that bowl nicely. Now I'm going to filter to Discover University. This is because it's so much easier to find when looking at debug items. When you have your cheats in you can go ahead and search debug in here and that will bring up all the debug items unless you are on console go ahead and don't search anything in here so click it open it and search nothing and debug will come up i am using a mod so i just have the live edit options here and debug here so for me it's in the live edit option the mod i'm using is better build by and then i'm going to use this item next to these other war items it looks a little bit weird but this is what it looks like you can see here this is why you need the bowl one size bigger or like i said using tool mod because if you place this water in here it will slightly stick through don't worry about this on the floor we'll put, put it in the basement and it will be hidden but yeah it slightly sticks through so you can size this up once more and adjust it or like i said two mod so I'm grabbing this and i'm going to place it in the basement and you're going to raise this up and like you don't want it here you want it here you want to be able to see the top of the gray wall otherwise that pool of water at the bottom sticks through the floor and glitches so i'm just going to free place that the best i can in here and i'll just show you what it looks like so like I said, you can see a little bit of that water sticking through the edge. It's not a massive deal, but if you don't want that sticking through the edge, size it up once. What I'm going to do is use tool mod. If you've never used tool mod before, tool mod is by Twisted Mexi. I would recommend it if you are on PC. It really helps with build if you want to do more advanced build stuff. Once you've got it in the game, go ahead and press shift T and it will bring the tool extension up. Click on the item you want to resize and we're going to go to scale. Scaling is one of the easiest things to do in tool mod. The rest of the stuff can be a little bit scary for beginners. So this one is a good one to start with. And I'm going to put 6.5 and it will just size up to this perfect size here. Make sure to click on the item to stop it being lit up and press shift T to get rid of tool mod again. With this bath, you want to shuffle it towards the one edge so your sim looks like it's laying its head on it so i'm just going to place it around here and then sizing it down to as small as it can go currently you will not be able to click on that bath in live mode 
because of the water. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that right now. Go down into the basement again and click on your water and we're just gonna size it down. It won't look like it's sizing it down, but if you can see here, this grid, the grid is sizing down and that grid cannot overlap the bath. So that's why we've moved the bath slightly to the side and sized this down and it should work. So I'll go ahead and give you an example of this working. When they get in the bath, they do stand in the bowl, but I mean, it looks pretty cool in the end. So for me, it's worth it. I know not everybody likes doing that sort of thing, but I can now click on the bath. I'll get ahead to take a mud bath. It won't show any mud because of this, but it means you won't get all the pixelation because she does it in her swimwear. And now my dog is partially in the bath. And there we can see her chilling in the bath. She's leaning up against the edge of the bowl and it looks pretty cool like i said i know it's not 100 perfect but if you like doing this sort of thing and i really like the challenge i think it can look super cool and you will have a permanently filled up bath because that water will permanently be there and that is it for this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye